Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the virtual event series. Uh, I'm Angelo. Uh, I'm the senior interactive media specialist here at Netgear, um, and I'll be your host for today. So we're actually debuting a brand new show. Um, this is something that we'll be doing throughout the summer and maybe even more um, if you guys like this, but it's our virtual event series. So, um, you know, we've been sheltered in place for a few months, and as a result, we're not able to go to these trade shows, you know, these things that are a little bit more exclusive, where you could essentially come to a convention, um, come visit us at our booth, and we'll give you a live demo, and we're gonna answer all your questions, and you can get in contact with us if you would like to work with us further. Um, so this year, we're gonna take it virtual, and that's what we're calling it, the Netgear Virtual Events. Um, so today we're gonna be talking about Mural Canvas 2, um, the Mural brand and kinda what it means for Netgear and how you can enrich your life and get inspired by new art. Um, it's actually one of my favorite products, so I'm actually really excited for this, but you know, before we kinda take into a deep dive, I'm gonna go ahead and kinda introduce everyone else on the show. So, uh, Spencer, you're next, what's up? Hey there, uh, I'm Spencer on the Netgear channel marketing team. So. I managed kind of all the in-store merchandising for Mural, and I kind of just like fell in love with the product over the last few years, so I'm excited to be part of all this. Poppy, Poppy, I'll hand it up to you. Hi, I'm Head of Content and Curation of Mural, so anything that you want to see from the Mural Art Library is coming uh, from uh, my team. So we work with artists, we work with museums, we work... Uh, uh, with agencies to bring you the best kind of art and photography uh, to the platform. Hey everyone, uh, so uh, product marketing specialist at Netgear. Um, I work as a product manager uh, for Mural, and um, I also work on some of the apps and services for both Mural and some of Netgear uh, uh, apps as well. Awesome. Well, I'm glad to have you guys here on the show. Uh, we're debuting actually something a little bit new. If you guys are uh, have tuned in to our previous shows that we've been doing, um, you know, we spruce, we're sprucing things up a little bit. We're learning, and uh, you know, I want to shout out to all you guys in in the chat. So, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, um, we're gonna get to them as soon as possible. So, I see even a couple questions from Ron and Robert. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna ho go ahead and get to those actually pretty quickly, but. The first thing we kind of wanted to show is essentially we wanted to introduce the Mural brand, actually. So, um, Spencer, actually, would you like to introduce what Mural is? And, you know, we've been talking a lot of networking stuff here on the Netgear YouTube channel, but I think this is something that's a little bit new for everyone who might be um, kind of new to us. Yeah, so um, essentially, I know people usually associate Netgear with Wi-Fi routers, but with Mural, um, it's a lot more about kind of how we can use technology to connect ourselves with art. Um, and I know Poppy actually, uh, sh she's been with Mural for qu quite some time and has a lot to say about this. Yeah, I mean, I think at root, Mural was, uh, exists because it's about experiencing visual culture and that's any kind of cult visual culture, right? From art to photography to your own personal photography in a wholly new way. And what's exciting about it is that you can bring the museum home, uh, see classic works of art on your wall, but also show your own personal photography with the kind of gravity and ceremony that it deserves. You can discover cool new artists, uh, National Geographic photographers is one of our partners, and all of this in sort of a modern, sophisticated design. And it really is a smart art frame. So it's Wi-Fi connected, you can send, uh, art directly to your wall, depending on your mood, depending on the time of day, depending on, you know, I don't know, an event you're having. Um, and then it all comes with these kinds of really uh, special, but like beautifully done, elegantly done uh, kind of smart features from a matte screen to an ambient light sensor to gesture control. So you can see, you can move through artwork, find out more about it if you, uh, scroll up. So it's really, it's, it's a kind of full package, but it's really about bringing visual culture into people's homes. Um, and as Spencer was saying, in a kind of connected way. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So we actually have a pretty short sizzle reel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually float it right now, just um, to kind of help you guys visualize it a little bit. Mural isn't art for art's sake. It's art for your sake. 
art for every emotion. Art for inspiration. Art for exploration and interesting conversation. Mural is art for ever-changing tastes. And those certain moments worth framing. It's over 30,000 iconic pieces in a beautifully crafted wooden frame for you to fall in love with again and again. See for yourself at mural.com. So I hope that kind of gave you guys a little bit of uh, insight into the Mural Canvas too. Um, again, personally, it's one of my favorite products. Uh, I don't know if you could actually kind of see it, but I got one actually right here. And it helps me, for, for me, it, it's really one of my favorite ways to discover art. Um, I kind of think of art as kind of like another medium for, I mean, it is a medium of art, yeah. painting, watercolor, et cetera. Well, and but, yeah. Well, yeah, and especially because, you know, I, I mean, I, I do care about, like, all the art you find in the museums, and I'm introduced to a, b a bunch of stuff with me, with me all the time. But then also, it's really fun to put your own stuff up there, you know? Like, um, it was one of my roommate's birthdays last week, and so we put all our baby pics up on the mural, and they're still there because those are the best pictures of us. But <laughs> um, your it's, like, it's just a really cool pictures. way. That's yeah. Like... <laughs> Literally, I just tanked since, but yeah. it, it was great. It was a good time. Awesome. Yeah, it, it really is something you could make your own. Whether you do love sharing photos or you want to discover, you know, maybe paintings you've never seen before from a certain museum across the world, Muriel will let you do that. So, yeah. So, Spencer, so this is the virtual event series. Um, again, this is kind of something where we want to bring the trade show to you. We want to bring the trade show to your screens. So, yeah. um, actually, about a month-ish or so, we, we, we safely, we shot um, a little bit of a demo. You, you ready to yeah. get into that? Yeah, exactly. So uh, basically, this is uh, my less aggressive trade show. <laughs> um, and so, uh, yeah, he, uh, we recorded this video where I walked through the mural product. And I think a lot of the questions that I'm seeing pop up in the chat are going to be answered with this video. Um, and then we can kind of answer any of the remaining ones after that. But um, yeah, it's... It's a good video. Uh, we'll edit it really well. Um, so awesome. I'm, I'm down to take a look. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Let's show it off. Oh. Hi there. Welcome to Netgear's virtual event series, where we show you the latest and greatest technology Netgear has to offer. I'm Spencer from the channel marketing team, and today I'm going to be showing you the Mural Canvas 2. The Mural Canvas 2 is a digital canvas that elevates your favorite photos and brings over 30,000 works of the world's art right to your home. Thanks to our patented TrueArt technology, every detail and texture in a painting or photo looks as real as it would on a traditional canvas or print. Join me as we take a deep dive into the Mural Canvas 2 and talk about how the technology works, how you can discover more of what you love in lifelike detail, how you can interact with the mural and personalize it to make it your own. But first, I want to go over why I love my mural canvas and why I keep going back to it every day. Like many of us, I spend a lot of my day scrolling through amazing content, whether it's traditional art, photography, or other digital media. And when I see something I really like, I save it. But then it just sits there saved on my phone. With the mural canvas too, I can bring all these incredible works into my daily life and share them with my friends in person. The mural canvas too, as I've mentioned, is a digital art frame that displays the art you love. This art either comes from the Mural Library, a collection of over 30,000 curated works of art, or your own personal library. What this means for me is that I can have my vacation pics next to the Guggenheim. Mine are usually better, but I'm biased. <laughs> Another thing that's fantastic about the Mural Library is that artists are just as interesting as their art. It's not just about the amount of content there, but how it's organized and curated. You can browse the Mural app, read editorials, and discover playlists of art from artists you now have a connection with. So. How do you actually do all of this? The Mural Canvas is a Wi-Fi connected frame, so you can upload from wherever you are using the Mural app, whether it's your own mural or a mural you've given to a friend or family member. You can also use the SD card slot on the side if you'd rather not use Wi-Fi. There's two main ways I interact with my mural. One is the Mural app, and the other is with gesture controls on the canvas. 
uh, simply swipe to the right to change the piece you're looking at. If you want to learn more, you swipe up and you'll have a nice little editorial on the piece. Down to get rid of it and down to open the menu again. And this is where we'll have access to our playlists. So if we browse here, oh, I like this one. This is the Winter Olympics. It's a really good one. I really like this picture, but what if the content I want to show is in landscape? Luckily, Netgear offers a swivel mount so you can easily rotate the mural from portrait to landscape. The mural canvas will automatically know which content to show to match the current orientation. I've been talking about the mural app. Let's take a look. Here we have the mural art feed. This is where you'll find editorials and featured playlists. Oh, I like this one. I'm a sucker for old boat pictures. Now, if I want to send this to the canvas, I simply select the image and I hit send to canvas, and then I pick which canvas I want to send it to. Now this looks lovely, but what if I want to upload my own pictures? I'm going to go back and then I'll go to my studio. I'm going to hit the plus sign and I'm going to select a new work and upload images. Uh, I like this picture of my dog. I like every picture of my dog. I can crop it and then hit save. Now I'm not going to add it to a playlist right now. And then I can go to my works and I can select the ones from the uploads. And there's my dog. Thank you for joining me today while we talked about the Mural Canvas 2 from Netgear. For more information, please check out our website at mural.netgear.com. I hope to see you again soon. Ow. What's the question? Oh, never mind. <laughs> so guys, we're all back. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and actually increase a little bit of my volume here. So let me know if I start sounding a little bit better after this. So we're all doing this live. Um, we've been doing this the past few months. So again, um, we appreciate your patience and um, us putting together a really good show for you guys. So uh, thank you, Spencer, for, for that demo reel. Uh, we had a lot of fun shooting that. So uh, for... Um, I guess everyone here, I think we could kind of start getting into the technology a little bit. Um, so would you be able to kind of tell us about Mural Canvas 2 and kind of what sets it apart from kind of anything else there that you could, um, that you could find or, you know, even how it compares to a traditional art medium? Yeah. So everyone will kind of jump in on this. So. Uh, Mural has something called true art technology and what it allows, um, what it really brings out is with paintings and with photos, it really makes that image come to life off of the screen instead of something like an LCD screen or just like a regular TV screen that's kind of glossy. Um, it really makes it feel like you're actually in front of a painting or actually in front of just like a, a photo like you're, you're actually there. Um, it brings out a lot of the colors, uh, brings out a lot of the uh, different layers and dynamics as well. So um, another thing with the technology that's um, kind of looking at some of the differences as well with uh, Genesis 1 and 2. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen. I kind of have it. But, but uh, the differences between Canvas 1 and 2 primarily, we made some small improvements mainly on the internal side. So uh, it consumes 45% less power when you kind of plug it into your wall. So it's good for energy savings. The gesture sensors, both in the landscape and the orientation, uh, for portrait, um, a little bit uh, easier to use. They detect your motion a lot easier than the Canvas One. Um, also, we had a new frame color that we released for the Canvas Two lineup um, in the light wood frame uh, for both the 21 inch and the 27 inch. So uh, we also have a little bit better. Uh, we have a better Wi-Fi connectivity range as well, so you get increased speeds when you're downloading and uploading content to your canvas, maybe if you have it in another room that's kind of far away from your router. So it's just a better experience kind of, just kind of setting up above the canvas one. Yeah. I, 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 I want to kind of touch on something you said and kind of answer Chris Salazar's question and some comparisons I've seen in the chat. So what, it, it's about the screen. And so kind of like what makes this different than like a Samsung frame or anything like that? Well, so... A Samsung frame is, a, is they're different products. A Samsung frame is a television that you can put pictures on afterwards, um, and that, that way you don't just have this big black screen on your wall. On Mural Canvas 2, the screen is designed completely differently. 
And it's designed so that it adds this depth and highlights the contrast in either your photos or the art you put on there. If, uh, if you put a painting on a mural canvas and you walk up really, really close to it, you see like the chunks of paint, like there's actual texture to it. Like, and there's no gloss, there's no glare. It's, it's got all that kind of automated. So when you put a print or anything on the mural canvas, you will initially just by looking at the two realize that these are two entirely different products. Um, and really it's this screen that even when you raise the brightness on the mural canvas, it doesn't like um, emit light, it just gets deeper. Um, which I think is a lot to do with the true art t t technology and really what separates the mural canvas apart from, you know, photo canvases have been around for ages. You know, the, the mural canvas is the one that's just kind of doing it right. Yeah, and, and that, that's, a, that's a really good point, Spencer. So I actually wanted to kind of get to Ron and Robert's uh, questions in the chat. So I'm just kind of going to float this out for everyone here. So what is the main difference between the original canvas and the mural canvas too? So primarily the canvas one just has the, the one size of 27 inches. So we added that new size, the, the smaller one, the frame, uh, that's 21 inches. And we added the lightwood frame as well. So you have better Wi-Fi connectivity, better gesture sensors, um, less power consumption. And we also have a little bit of a better uh, ambient light sensor kind of dispenser's point. So I mean, um, yeah, you kind of have a dark room and you kind of walk into it, you don't have this blaring kind of light. Um, the light sensor picks up very well, kind of adjust your, uh, your photos and your art kind of just to the, the perfect lighting. Let's see. Yeah. Looking through. Just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock out a couple questions here in the beginning of the chat. Um, so again, I, I wanted to thank everyone here who um, is participating. So again, we'll be doing this uh, for pretty much the next 35 minutes. So 12 p.m. Pacific time to 1 p.m. Pacific time. So. Uh, we're happy to kind of help you, um, kind of guide you through this process of any questions you might have. Uh, yeah, just drop it in now and we'll get to them as soon as we can. Um, I just got another question in from Ron. So how many mural frames can be used on one mural subscription? Oh, as many as you want, I believe. Uh, right, Garrett? I'm not saying anymore because I have, I have tons. Like how many how many murals can you put on one subscription? Yeah, so um, right now it's unlimited. Yeah. So if you have one membership, pretty much any canvas that you set up with that account, it would just yeah. be. So Which makes it really great for um, basically purchasing for family members. Uh, basically, you can s s give it to them, and then once they hook it up to the Wi-Fi, if you still want to maintain control over that account, then you can manage it from wherever you are. And I believe Garrett. Can two people uh, control the same account? Um, yeah, exactly. So, based, so you, your family member or, or friend would have control, and you would also have control. And uh, thank you, Alec. I'm glad you love the screen. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll say that I control my mother's one in the UK, and I just sent her pictures of her grandson. Yeah, and Mural, it's like it's amazing. Mural keeps me in my in my mother's good books. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I do the same thing. Um, and then uh, Alec, your question of where you can go physically see one. So um, we're working on some stuff in Bloomingdale's, but again, everything is kind of so up and down with when you're going to be able to s see stuff right now. So uh, I'll on our website we, we we will have clear places of where you can go um, actually interact w with a mural. And I'll answer Chris's question, what's my favorite uh, uh, thing about the mural uh, canvas? I, I do really love the little museum digital card that you can bring up um, that tells you about the, about the uh, artwork you're looking at or the photograph. But I also love the fact that you can tell a story with a number of different artworks or photographs, right? So you can bring together artworks that would never be together in a museum or photographs from your own, um, uh, like they're imprisoned on your iPhone that as Spencer was saying, that show someone growing over the years and their personal photos. So it's a kind of storytelling device, which, which, you know, you can't do with a single work of art. Exactly. And, and it's like, there's so many photos that I save onto my phone and then I send them to like two or three people immediately. They don't reply. And then that photo has gone forever. And so it's it's like such a nice way to be like, oh, I really like this one. And the next time I see someone, I'm going to talk to them about it because it's in my living room, you know? Yeah. It's a conversation piece. 
That's awesome. And, and that's what Mural's about, right? It's harnessing technology to do for visual culture, what technology's done for film and, and music already, right? Exactly. It's just, you know, make it this part of your daily life that, that in, is enriching and fun. Um, and that's, that's always what we're striving to do. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Just kind of coming from my side, I really can't, I almost like stress it enough about how much I really do love it. I mean, it, I think it's one thing to kind of also see it, to, to believe it, where kind of as like Spencer mentioned, you could really see the detail in every single work of art. Um, you know, just kind of for me, um, you know, I've been at Netgear for the past few years and Mural was something um, relatively newer that we brought into the company. But the moment that I had one in my own room where I was able to to one, discover new art, but even like surprise myself with artists that I've never even seen or heard before. I'm just like, wow, I have a newfound appreciation for a lot of Renaissance art and almost ancient art and kind of art that spans across all eras. I, it's like a, it's like I have different Spotify playlists, you know, for different genres of music. I have different playlists for different, uh, I guess, I don't want to say genres, but mediums and uh, and art styles and, and eras of the world. And I just feel like I'm just kind of more cultured and I'm more enriched. And that's that's really where this is coming from. That's the best way I can describe that. Yeah, it feels like you learn more. It's like you, 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 you get to learn about the stuff you like, which is just really great. And I do want to make the point that one of the things that really does set Mural apart is the lengths we go to and the commitment we have towards our partners, including individual artists, museums, uh, you know, anyone who we're, we're working with, whether it's Na National Geographic, whether it's Marvel, uh, whether it's an individual artist, right? And the, one of the reasons the true art technology is a big part of why this uh, visual culture looks so good on the, on the wall, but it's also because we have direct relationships right with uh with museums um and with artists to make sure that we're representing their work as they as as they would like to see it um and, that, and that's really important because commitment to to uh to the artist is, is a really important part of the platform as well yeah exactly and i mean i kind of rely on, on every aspect of my life for kind of other people to create the funnel of content that i see on a regular basis and so it's nice to have Mural knowing that it's creating a good funnel. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And yeah. I think that's also the beauty of the platform where um, art is specially curated to fit your canvas, but is also, you know, it's, I feel like I'm supporting the artist in a way that I feel like you I are. really would yeah. before. You know, I could go to a museum, but, you know, here it's like, I don't want to, I don't know, go go on Google and just kind of like look up art and, you know, it's, yeah, it's like not when really you type the best it. way to experience yeah. it, you know? Uh, Exactly. Yeah, that speaks to, to a question I think that came up slightly earlier, which is um, which was about why some content is for sale um, and how that interacts with the membership. So we have around thirty thousand actually growing uh, number of artworks on the platform at any at any one time, and it kind of works a bit like Netflix. So stuff gets taken off and stuff gets put on. There is always new art being put on. We put on about five new artists uh, a week. Um, but because we pay artists royalties on sales, we uh, we preview all new art in the membership. And then if you want to own it, i.e. like keep it forever, as opposed to just have a revolving collection in the um, in the membership, then you have the purchase the opportunity to purchase it at fifty percent if you're a member. Um, but the the amount of new art uh, available to members is always growing. So it's never decreasing. Um, it's just that we are adding new collections and new artists all the time. Mm -hmm. and, and just to kind of bounce off of that, anyone could go to my.mural.com and browse the art that's available. Um, I guess if you're not a member yet, you wouldn't get that discount. And obviously, if you don't have a canvas, you can't put it on your canvas yet. But you could actually view the art right now. Is that is that true? Yeah, you could go on my.mural. You could go on the app as well, the, the app store, and just hit try it now without making an account. So you can go ahead and just take a look. Yeah. Awesome. And, and just to kind of uh, uh, just to kind of put that special offer out. So one, go check out the art because again, over thirty thousand works of art exclusive to the mural platform. Um, again, it's something that. I have discovered a lot of artists myself in a way that I discover new musicians or maybe new new creators on, on social media. It really is just a new medium to kind of appreciate. Um, so check out my.mural.com and you can check that out today. 
But I also wanted to shout out, there's an offer down below. Uh, we actually haven't mentioned it yet. So we just pushed this live today. So, um, you know, appreciate your guys' patience on this. But if you use promo code MOUNT on store.netgear.com and you pick up a Mural Canvas 2, um, I believe across the 21.5 inch side size and the 27 inch size, you will get a free swivel mount. And I think I think we saw a little bit in Spencer's demo earlier. The swivel mount is actually something that's pretty slick because you could fix or you could kind of move your orientation from portrait to landscape in real time just by using your hand. Um, exactly. Yeah, Which you, you guys can have any. With normal, and, and you can do that with a normal canvas. Um, it's just significantly easier with a, a, a swivel mount. Awesome. Yeah. And no, it's really slick stuff. Uh, Garrett, uh, the Alexa or um, Mural does have Alexa co compatibility, correct? Yes, there is some compatibility with Canvas 2 for Alexa. Um, you just want to set up the integrations on my.mural. Uh, right. You just sign up with your account and just link it. So, so Ron had a question of whether it could like uh, sync with Spotify and stuff like that. So because, Ron, it does work with Alexa, you can probably set up some routines within the Alexa app um, to kind of get um, whatever you're going for there. Uh, yeah, you can kind of art up with the music. It'll be cool. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, Alexa is about controlling the canvas. You can move through images, so show the um, digital museum card. But I have got um, basic a thing that Ron's suggesting, which is a really good idea, which is playing music that's com complementary to the playlist. Um, you, you can do that. At the moment, the, it's not like engineered through our app, but you know, watch this space. We're always developing. Yeah, exactly, right? IoT. Let's see. Uh, let's see if there's any other questions that we're not. Oh, yeah. and then um, for, for Cats of Gordon Street go. Club, so I don't have any white papers on this, but we do um, love w working on programs like this. Uh, just, I guess, wow, it's been a while. So, um, in, a few months ago, we did a nonprofit in Seattle where we kind of helped kids who were struggling w w with homelessness. And there was this nonprofit that was helping them through photography. And so we put a bunch of murals up in a store and they got to present their their photography that they had been working on. Um, and it was just really good. It was really wholesome and it's great. And as mural, we love doing stuff like that. So while I don't have any white papers for you, um, we we do do that. and reach out anytime if um, you have any opportunities like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because again, this is the virtual event series, so we'd love to kind of see how we could partner on um, with some of you guys who do have organizations. I'm not sure if there has been a good example in the past where um, I think we're working a little bit more on kind of the business the business side of, of Mural. Um, I, know, I know, you know, we focus a lot on the home, but I'm not sure if you guys, or even Spencer, if you've done any shows in the past with, um, you know, kind of kind of showing this off in an industry environment. Yeah, no, and it does. So um, with, with in terms of like hotels and hospitals, these are very popular because in a, in a hotel room, you can have a mural that's completely curated to the environment around you and the guests can swipe up and say, oh, this is more information about this wonderful thing for, for, for me to kind of go visit. So it, there's definitely um, a lot of interest there. And we, I don't know like, if we're in a ton right now. Um, but it is expanding. And, and, and so I see Poppy uh, uh, oh, oh, over there actually interacting with your mural, which is which is pretty pretty awesome. Um, I'm not sure if we actually took a deep dive yet into well, one we, we're talking about. Yeah, you can share photos and you know um, upload or I guess discover art off the mural platform to go into your canvas. But how do you actually interact with it, and how can you put your photos onto the canvas as well? I mean, it, you, I mean, you can do it in, in, in uh, you can interact with the canvas in three main ways. You talked about Alexa, uh, well, four actually. Alexa, gesture can actually control the canvas. So you can move left and right, and you can find out more about the um, item by going up um, and down. You can also do that using Alexa. But to get, to get um, art and photography onto the platform, it's really a case of using either the web platform, but the majority of people will use the app. Um, and it's a pretty standard uh, flow. For anyone who uses Spotify and Bluetooth speakers, um, you'll you'll uh, you'll 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 pick it up quick, pretty quickly. Yep, absolutely. And then I guess this kind of ties in with another one of Ron's questions: is that the mural supports animated GIFs? 
It does. And some of the animated art you see on the mural library is some of the best art that is there. Um, and it's it, not it's, just GIFs, actually. We support all video formats. Okay, cool. And cool. they automatically loop, and we have some absolutely gorgeous content, video yeah. content, yeah. coming yeah. next next week. Ooh. Watch this space. Um, uh, there's some, there's a new collection coming. I can't say with who, but it's a pretty it's pretty cool content partnership. Um, mm. And there's some just absolutely gorgeous HD video coming mm. that I'm super excited about. And then, uh, Ron, I would uh, just make sure that the file you're uploading, maybe you want to upload it from your computer to make sure that it's a big enough file. Because um, if you're uploading it from your phone, if it's a small GIF you found on, on Google, it might not be very high quality. Mm. Yeah. You know, and, and just kind of, oh, here, go ahead, Derek. Oh yeah, no, to the video formats as well. You can also upload iOS live photos if you have an iOS device. So if you're taking live photos and you want to go ahead and show them on your, uh, your mural, it'll pretty much be playing back just kind of like your, your gift. So we can do the boomerang with the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to say about gifts because we support other video formats and gifts are quite high processing power. I often find that if you actually convert them to a to a different format and upload, you'll, you'll you might get a smoother a uh, smoother process. Although we do support them. Okay. Right. Awesome. That's so, good news. I, I know you kind of spoke on it a little bit, but you could say, so Spencer, you could have your photos next to the Guggenheim, right? Next to the Guggenheim. <laughs> yeah, I so. That's awesome. So there's really a diverse mix of content that you can experience on your screen. So let's say you're really into, you know, into traditional paintings. You could do, you could, um, you know, put that on your canvas. If you're a photographer yourself, whether you're amateur level or professional level, you could put your own photos on your own canvas. And just also, as we mentioned, you could also control other canvases as well. So Poppy, you mentioned how you have your mom's canvas all the way, like half the world away, Across and you're still able to share photos in real time. Exactly, yeah. Awesome. Um, and and yeah, and I send, I send her an updated photo of her grandson every day. And especially in quarantine, right? She hasn't seen him for, for many months. Uh, it's, it's like the main way she's watching him grow. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's that's a really that's a really great way actually. I haven't even thought about that because I have my parents' mural canvas actually, you know, uh, across the state actually. Um, but I would love to share, uh, you know, stuff that I've created because I shoot a lot of film photography personally, um, and it's on my it's on my canvas. But of course, it's, it's just as easy to share it to your loved ones or your friends who may also yeah. have a mural canvas of their own. Okay. It elevates my photographs. I always think, wow, I'm actually quite a talented photographer when I look at it. Exactly. <laughs> I, think it's mainly, I think it's mainly because the frame is making it look so much better. But, exactly. you, know, but I know. It, 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 you feel good though. It's like, wow, I took that. And and like if that kind of fits in with uh, some of the questions that just came in about the screen resolution. Um, I don't know the exact recommended file size because everything I've uploaded has just looked good. 1920 by 1080 is the lowest resolution that you could upload to. Um, the, the, the screen isn't 4K, but it doesn't need to be at this size. You would not be able to see the difference. Um, uh, there, there, there is literally, you would not be able to see the difference at this at this size. So it's uh, full HD, but it's not 4K. Um, but that's the lowest resolution. We most of the uh, artwork that we up upload is at is at 4K. Awesome. Awesome. I usually recommend no more than a 20 megabyte file for upload to kind of get the optimal uh, image quality. You can upload a file that's higher, but that's kind of like the, the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 20, 20 is about the sweet spot. Yeah. Is there a limit to how much content you could personally upload to your own canvas, whether it's photos or GIFs or um, really anything? There, there is a there is a storage limit on the on the like the the, the frame and cloud, but it's you. you <laughs> I listen. I add about three hundred um, images a, a a month at the moment uh, to the platform new, um, and I. I, I really have rarely run out of, of space. So it's not it's not something you're gonna um, really notice. Have to deal with, yeah. And also remember, it's if it, as, as well as you can put on the canvas, you can also take off. So if there's uh, if you have any kind of issues with storage, it's just a case of removing a playlist or a few images to and, and replacing them. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So super easy. Um, so just before we get to our next section, actually, so Poppy. Um, I know you sent me over a little bit of a demo reel to actually go over the My.Mural platform. So um, 
if you're ready, I could actually go ahead and kind of show that off now on screen. Um, we're going to kind of shift away. I know you've been looking at our faces for at least like 40 minutes now uh, to all you guys in the chat. But, um, you know, let's start taking a deep dive into what you could really experience here on the My.Mural platform if you're ready. Yeah. There's a slight delay for my video, so you might need to talk through it for a bit as well. Oh, no but worries. Oh, here we are. Yeah, I see it. There we are. All right. So if you guys can see it on screen, um, right now we're seeing the channels. So I'm going to have to kind of speak key. through it. Key, actually. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, if we're talking about how you find search and browse on the platform, this is the feed. It gets updated twice a day. Um, you can send directly to your canvas from the feed, a whole playlist in this instance. Or if you want to go into that playlist and just send a couple of images from it, you can do that too. So you can send collections of images, which we call playlists, as well as single images directly from the feed. Alternatively, you might want to browse, right? So here, I want to look at National Geographic content on the site. Here are the artists from National Geographic, the editorials we've written, um, the playlists, as well as the, well, in this instance, 331 works. Uh, from National Geographic. And again, you can filter those on time period, on name, and, and most recently added. Uh, alternatively, you might want to look at color. So bold reds, golden hues, um, you know, find artwork by, uh, by the kind of mood you're in, or perhaps you've got a particular idea. You want to see artwork about animals. Um, who doesn't love a zebra on their screen? Um, and of course, there's search. So if you know an artist, like Van Gogh, you're gonna find uh, the extraordinary breadth of content we have related to him. Um, from museum content to related artists, to playlists you'll find him in, to his actual artist page, which will hold pretty much everything that we have uh, um, uh, related to that artist. Um, and so that, that's kind of the, like, the main ways in which you would uh, look for uh, content, but you might also just have like an idea in your head. I, I mean, Halloween was a long time ago now, but were you to type in spooky, you'd find some Halloween content because we index and tag all of the content uh, on our platform pretty heavily, to kind of anticipating what you might be able to, what you might be interested in in, in looking at. So that's a sort of like the, the, the kind of uh, overview um, of uh, how you might, uh, this is talking really about um, some content, as we said, is for sale. So for members, for example, this playlist of five video works is $14.95, but that playlist was available for free to members for 60 days. And it will be up, we will update new content, uh, new, new video content pretty much uh, every week. So there's always like the total amount of membership content that you are able to access. It's always roughly the same. In fact, it's, it's largely growing. Um, but yeah, that's like the, that's the kind of the, the quick uh, introduction to browsing and searching on the web platform. And the app pretty much follows similar, uh, a similar kind of architecture. Nice. Um, so sorry, I know there was a little bit of a delay there. Uh, I actually went ahead and kind of floated up a live view of the mural platform so we could actually go through this um live again I, I i hope let us know chat if um things are sounding good things are looking good we're powering a stream completely wirelessly uh i'm using actually a naked nighthawk rx 200 to power the stream without an ethernet cable so if there's any technical issues feel free to yell at me spam me in the chat <laughs> Um, but as long as my machine can handle this, let's go ahead and kind of show off the, uh, the mural platform. So, um, again, there might be a little bit of a delay, but Poppy right here, I actually am on the home screen where we can see all the channels here. So the first thing that I see is, uh, Marvel, Game of Thrones, National Geographic, um, yeah. just to kind of add a little bit more insight to there. Those are, those are authorized, like, let's say partnerships that we've set up with them. Yeah, for absolutely. Yes, 
and and to, to Ron's asking about Basquiat, um, who's also one of our partner artists, his estate. Um, so what happens is we add new content sort of pretty regularly from Marvel. It stays in, available to members for 30 uh, days um, before it be becomes available for sale. But we add new Marvel content into the subscription uh, at the same time. Um, yeah, so we have partnerships with Marvel. We have partnerships with HBO Game of Thrones, with National Geographic, um, right down to individual, individual artists. Um, so it's a really kind of broad and diverse, uh, uh, diverse kind of set of, of, of providers. Yeah. So um, this is really slick because I, I, I do know that if you have the app, it does follow a very similar format. So it's extremely mm -hmm. polished. Um, I see here, are these the most recently uploaded artists? Um, you know, again, I guess, I guess coming from a curation sp uh, standpoint, I think these are a little bit new. I haven't recognized them yet. Yeah. So well, that... that um, that kind of swim lane will just show you the most recently added artists. Mm -hmm. And if you click the see all above it, it would take you to, you know, pretty much every single artist by, uh, in alphabetical order, yeah. uh, page, but those, yeah, that's, that's just a kind of constantly updated, uh, section with the most recently added artists. And as you see, as you hover over them, uh, heart appears and that's just a way for users to organize their favorites right oh I really like this artist I really like this particular artwork or I love this playlist so instead of having to search for it again you can just store it into your kind of um, uh, your studio awesome. yeah and then just a quick shout out to that cascades playlist if you want to completely change your wall put that on your mural because it's amazing it is amazing. Yeah, the waterfalls. yeah it's really fun. It's, yeah, it's, it's like really it look. It feels like you're in Harry Potter. It's like when the newspaper starts moving because it like that one looks like so. It's just great. Yeah. yeah, we've got a lot of nature ones coming. So so watch this space. It's it's really great. Awesome. Yeah, that's a really good example of a dynamic art piece that um, is also something new to the membership. So again, this is a dynamic platform. Uh, Poppy, you are. The curator, right? You um, are seeing all these artists that are coming in, and yeah. I think that's. I'm jealous of your job. I guess that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun, and you know, it also, you know, one thing that art hasn't been able to do in the past is be timely, right? So it's Women's History Month, it's Black History Month, it's Thanksgiving, it's uh, you know, seasons changing, um, and you know, let's change kind of what's on our wall to celebrate, recognize, um, or just like align with that moment. And I think that's, that's so we're always thinking about it in, in that sense. And then sometimes it's just like, we find some absolutely wicked art um, and amazing photography. And, you know, we want to share it with, uh, with our community. Awesome. Um, yeah. And then I see down here, so we could kind of go beyond kind of the most recently added, you, you have different sections here. So this is actually personally for me where I browse a lot. I love going mm -hmm. to the museums and really feeling like I am essentially in a museum. Um, we yeah. could really kind of take a deep dive into any of these sections here. I don't know if you guys have any personal favorites. I know I do, but. <laughs> I, heard, I already talked about my cascades. You, you love your waterfall. Um, yeah. I mean, if you go into any of these, what I think what is really fun is, um, I mean, actually, if you go to editorial, because this is one other thing that I, I, I want to kind of shout out, the, the platform is really also a, like about a place to learn about the artists, um, whether they are, you know, from, from the past or are working in the present. So in the editorial section of that browse, you know, we have, we do interviews with artists and they tell us about the making of, uh, of that of the pieces that they do for us. So if you click editorial there, yeah, perfect. Um, it'll take you to uh, in all. Oh wait, where is it? Yeah, exclusive artist interviews. If you click in there, um, I yeah, I love learning about how a particular artwork was made. Um, Let's go ahead and uh, um, check out the Marvel Universe one. I know. Um, this one is really special just because, uh, well, one, it's Marvel, and, and like I think this is something that a lot of people love. Um, yeah, these are the, you know, five uh, superhero sites in the Marvel Universe. This is just an article we did the other day um, because we put up a lot of kind of uh, really unusual and, and cool art that you don't necessarily always see from the, from the, Marvel, um, from the Marvel archive. Yeah. But I, mean, I guess what I'm saying is, like, 
it's not just, you know, you, you're going to find some, you know, as you were saying, you like discovering stuff on the site. Mm -hmm. I think that for me is one of the, the, the kind of fun things about the, about the platform as well is uh, being able to see related artists based on color, based on time period, based on, uh, you know, on your personalized kind of browsing activity. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think something that might be kind of cool to show off is really how easy it is to simply send art to your canvas. This is something that, um, you know, again, I love doing just in my free time. It's like I log off of work and then all of a sudden I go straight to playing with my mural and I'm like, okay, I don't know if I'm still working or not, but you know what? I'm still having fun. <laughs> this is... Um, so here, I'll, I'll just say, I, I really do love going to museums. So let's say um, we want to go to the, the Metropolitan uh, Museum of Art um, in New York. So search for it. Yeah. That's probably the fastest. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I could actually go ahead and kind of search. Sorry, I know, Poppy, you might be seeing a little bit of delay. So but, um, you know, what I could do is actually search it right here. Um, <laughs> I'm actually already in into the museum section, so I'm just gonna go kind of find a piece that I think you know would be rather cool to kind of show off, kind of like right now. But let's say right here. Sorry guys, if it's starting to kind of chug. Um, we got a lot going on here. This is the first time we're kind of uh, demonstrating our overlays 2.0. I hope you love the you know the new look. But um, here, you know, this is something that I would actually really personally love to have on my personal canvas. Um, and kind of as you mentioned, Poppy, there is a description down here below um, that really makes this art feel less so something that it's just nice to look at on your wall. But you really feel connected to the artist and the amount of work and passion and love that these people really do for, for, their, for their art and for their works. And essentially for their life. Um, mm. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and send this to Canvas. You know, um, and then there you go. Playlist sent to Canvas. Let's see. Look at that. Sorry, I'm going to do this in real time, but I don't know if you guys could actually kind of see that. But it is uh, downloading. I downloaded the entire playlist, so I'm actually downloading um, 12 works of art right now. But you can kind of see here, it's um, starting, to, starting to float it up. So uh, and then it's that I, easy. I see a couple of questions coming up in the chat. Uh, Garrett, I want to make sure I don't answer this one wrong. Um, for we, You can have multiple people connected to the same canvas, right? But Kieran here is asking if you can have more than one users in an individual account. Yeah, so um, as long as you guys have the same account information and just sign into the Mural app or on My.Mural with that account, you guys can all kind of join in and use that, that Canvas that's associated to the account. Um, once a Canvas, though, is assigned to an account, um, someone's email, someone's username, uh, that Canvas is only assigned to that account. You, know? you wouldn't be able okay. to kind of assign it to multiple accounts. It's only kind of one account at a time. Okay, so but you could have multiple accounts associated with the one Canvas. Um, or no, 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 no. Right, so if you're using the same account, um, you guys can kind of, if that campus is assigned to the account, you just sign it to that one account. And you can oh, okay. So they can just, so uh, Kieran, to answer your question, the easiest way to do that might just to be, uh, have um, multiple people log into your account, um, you and your family members. Mm -hmm. And I also, so we're actually down this actually went by super quick for me. I don't know about you guys, but um, we're down to our last three minutes. So if any last questions you guys have in the chat, we're going to go ahead and answer them. Um, I think there was one that we missed um, from from Cats, the uh, Cats of Gordon Street Soccer Club. Um, thank you for joining. Uh, we answered a little bit of an industry question a little bit earlier. But uh, they're saying, I've never seen one of these. Does it require physically touching the frame to change the photos, or will it run a playlist? Not touching no, the no you, can, you can set it. You can set it to run a playlist at your desired speed. You can stick it on one image and keep it there forever, or you can say change image every few seconds. You, you can t totally control that in your settings. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And Lisa, she, she's asking, um, can you search for landscape versus portrait formatted art? You can't, you can't currently filter for landscape versus portrait. The frame will automatically recognize it because the playlists that you send are mixed orientation, but that filter will be coming soon. Awesome. Cool. Um, 
yeah, you know, we're last to our two minutes here. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to kind of shout out to you guys here on the team, uh, the mural team, if there's anything else that you guys wanted to shout out or um, even have me kind of pilot here uh, in terms of the my.mural platform. Um, I just want to answer Lisa's question before we, we run out of time. I, I believe so, yes. Uh, Poppy, you can search art by the orientation, whether it's landscape or portrait. Oh, I just answered that. Sorry, you oh. can't filter at the moment, but you will be able to soon. It's a okay, cool. we're adding, Sorry. but the frame automatically detects it. Yeah. So you can send a, a multi orient orientation playlist to a frame, and it's gonna it's gonna detect which orientation to play it in. Um, I, I to answer your question, Angelo, I think the thing that I want to say is. Mural is a living platform. So, you know, we're constantly trying to improve the experience, add great, more great art, um, and keep our community engaged and, and happy. And that's, you know, so um, so this is a, you know, this is a valuable, a valuable product to have because it's always growing and, and improving. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've had my mural for a couple of years and I, it doesn't feel old at all. It feels like it's new every time. You're getting, you're getting the same experience, right? Yeah, it's as new as the art you put on it, I guess I should say. Yeah, um, exactly. And it's, it's again, I, I can't stress it enough. Once I have it in my own room and I'm exploring through it, I'm learning as I go. And then it's like, again, I'll, sometimes I'll find an art style that I might not necessarily know that I like. I realize I really like pointillism. That's that's one thing. I'll I'll just say that right now. Um, Capture yeah. the light. Capture the light. <laughs> of course. Um, and just wanted to shout out one more. Oh, actually, yeah, one more comment from Kat. And then I think Robert. I don't know if we we answered this one earlier. Can you upload raw files to your mural canvas? Or does it have to be JPEG? I don't actually know that. I don't believe it has to be JPEG. I think it, it takes a number of different uh, formats, and I know that there's an SD card port as well. So um, I would, yeah, this is where I show my hopelessness. I would check that the, the, the FAQs. Garrett may know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I always just lean on Garrett whenever I don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Garrett likes that. <laughs> And be taking primarily through like your PC. If you have raw files, I guess on your phone, um, that that might not transfer well over to uh, your actual mural. Um, but usually, if it's like a raw file, I'm assuming you're trying to transfer to an SD card. Um, and, and to answer the question for SD cards, it does the mural does support it. There's a small slot on the bottom uh, right hand corner of the mural canvas too that you can kind of just plug that in. Um, when you do plug in the SD card, though, just recommend you unplug your canvas and just kind of plug it back in really quick. So it can register the content on the SD card. So then it'll just kind of pop up as a playlist on your display. Awesome. Um, Perfect. One more from Katz. Uh, they said, this would be great for a public display to try to adopt pets. Um, the idea of combining with another uh, nonprofit is also cool. Uh, settings are good. Yeah, no, exactly. Awesome. So Katz, if you're going to do that, um, a lot of people do, 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 do that, it, whether they're personal photographers and stuff, that they basically want a way to present what, what they have really well. Uh, and the mural is great for that. And you probably, if you are just using it for the it, for the images of the pups and, and, and cats, then you probably don't need a subscription either. You can just put your own content up there. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So yeah, thank you guys again. And I, I do see a few more comments. Uh, you know, uh, apologize if we missed any. Again, if there's any, so I'm gonna shout out another thing. Um, we do something called Tech Support Live every Friday from 12 p.m. Pacific time to 2 p.m. Pacific time. We're on back here live on stream for two hours to help you with any, um, in, like whether it's Necker or Mural, we'd be happy to help you with any issues you have whatsoever. Um, you'll have a direct virtual hotline to our team. Um, we're pretty much all the support experts. Uh, I'll have a different crew, sorry. I don't know if you, Garrett, Spencer, Poppy, uh, is a little bit different. Um, you know, this is a different show. Uh, you got, I'll send you guys a link. But um, in any case, for any of you guys in the chat who might need help with the mural canvas, we'd be happy to help you guys for, for two hours every single Friday. Um, so you have that as an outlet. Uh, but I want to thank everyone again. I want to thank uh, my guests here on stream for, for joining for an hour. Um, I personally had a lot of fun with this. You know, I hope you guys did too. And there's really a lot of awesome stuff coming out for mural canvas too. And I'm going to be really looking forward to that that new artist you mentioned, Poppy, uh, next week. Yeah, I know. Now I'm all suspense stuff. 
And I, it's, just, oh, it's, it's very calming video. It's very good. Perfect for the times of course. Oh, wait. I do know what this is. Uh, uh, it's almost like I work here. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't. Oh, man. Oh, man. Y'all got secrets. Um, yeah. But again, one more thing. Use the promo code MOUNT at checkout. Just starting today, we just launched this for you guys who are watching the stream. Use the promo code MOUNT. Uh, for a free swivel mount um, on store.nightgear.com. So if you pick up a Mural Canvas 2, either the 21 and a half inch or the 27 inch Mural Canvas 2, um, you'll get a free swivel mount uh, bundled in with your order. And that's something I personally don't even have. I'm pretty jealous of that deal. Yeah, well, and that works for the month of July, right? I believe so, yeah, yeah. Um, it's active today. Well, actually, Thanks, I have to kind of check my emails, but just pick it up today and you'll make sure that you will get it. Um, thank you guys again. Thank you, chat. Um, I'm seeing all the love in here. Uh, again, we'll be doing these shows uh, actually every single Tuesday. Virtual events. Um, this is going to be happening every Tuesday uh, from here on out for about the next six weeks. And then Tech Support Live is essentially going on indefinitely uh, as long as you guys are in the chat um, needing some help. We're going to keep going um, and doing that every single Friday from 12 to 2. Virtual events, 12 to 1 every Tuesday. Awesome. Cool. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm going to end the stream here. And if you guys have any, have any more questions, either tune into our next live event or tune in at Tech Support Live. Thank you. Thank guys. you, everyone. This was a lot of fun. I appreciate the questions. This was good. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Yeah, thanks, if you like, you'll help us get to the front page of YouTube, and we'll be able to keep doing this for as long as you guys are here. We'll be famous. We'll be famous. Make us famous. All right. Well, thank All you, right. guys. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye.